In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad crankshaft position sensor, what it does, how it fails, and the key signs you should watch out for. So, what's the purpose of the crankshaft position sensor? A crankshaft position sensor, often called a CKP sensor, is a vital electronic component used in both petrol and diesel engines. Its main job is to measure the rotation speed and exact position of the crankshaft. It does this by counting the number of teeth on a special gear attached to the crankshaft and sending that data to the ECU. The ECU then uses this information to determine where the crankshaft and pistons are at any given moment and to calculate the engine's rotational speed. This data is crucial for accurate engine timing, fuel injection, and ignition. Basically, it helps your engine run smoothly and efficiently. So, why does a CKP sensor actually go bad? Well, there are a few reasons. One of the most common issues is damaged or torn wires, which can mess with the communication between the sensor and the ECU. Another most common cause is moisture. Yep, water getting where it doesn't belong. If water sneaks into the sensor, it can corrode the internal circuits. And once that starts, it's pretty much game over unless you catch it early. Another reason is electrical issues. We're talking blown fuses, short circuits, or voltage spikes that can fry the sensor's internal components. Then, there's the possibility of a software issue. Sometimes a faulty update or a glitch in the programming can misinterpret the crankshaft signal, making it seem like a sensor issue when it's really a programming problem. And don't forget wear and tear. Like any electronic part, the CKP sensor can just wear out over time. Now that we know what the crankshaft sensor does and why it can go bad, let's talk about the common signs of a failing crankshaft sensor. All right, the first and most obvious sign is the check engine light turning on. When the ECU detects a problem with the CKP sensor's signal, like if it's inconsistent or completely missing, it triggers the check engine light and stores a diagnostic trouble code. Think of these codes as your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. If you hook up an OBD2 scanner, you might see codes like P0335, which is a general crankshaft position sensor malfunction. You could also see more specific codes like P0336, P0337, P0338 or P0339, depending on whether the issue is with the sensor's signal range, a low or high voltage input, or even an intermittent connection. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanations. I'll also put a link down below if you need an OBD2 scanner, or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. All right, let's move on to the next symptom of a bad crankshaft position sensor, and that's rough idle. When the crankshaft sensor isn't sending accurate signals to the ECU, the engine can't correctly manage fuel injection and ignition timing. As a result, you might notice the engine running unevenly while idling. It could feel like it's shaking, surging, or just not running smoothly at a stop. This happens because the ECU is essentially guessing how to control the engine without precise data from the crankshaft sensor. If your car feels like it's sputtering or vibrating unusually while at a red light or in park, that's a solid clue something might be wrong with the sensor. Now let's talk about one of the most noticeable signs of a bad crankshaft position sensor. And that's hard starting or no start at all. When the CKP sensor fails or sends erratic signals, the ECU can't determine the exact position of the crankshaft. Without this crucial information, it doesn't know when to send fuel or spark, which are both needed to start the engine. So, you might find yourself cranking the engine multiple times before it finally starts. Or it might not start at all. Let's talk about another major sign of a bad crankshaft position sensor is power loss. When the CKP sensor isn't providing accurate data, the ECU struggles to time fuel injection and spark properly. That poor timing can lead to sluggish acceleration, hesitation when you press the gas, and an overall lack of power while driving. You might feel the engine bogging down, especially under load like going uphill or overtaking. 
It's like the car just doesn't want to respond the way it should. And that's because the ECU is running blind without reliable input from the crankshaft sensor. Another sign of a bad crankshaft position sensor is poor gas mileage. When the sensor isn't working correctly, the ECU can't accurately determine the crankshaft's position. As a result, it struggles to optimize ignition timing and fuel injection. This leads to inefficient combustion, which means the engine burns more fuel than necessary to produce the same power. So, if you notice that you're making more frequent stops at the gas station without any changes in your driving habits, a faulty crankshaft sensor might be to blame. Another big sign of a failing crankshaft position sensor is engine stalling. This usually happens because the sensor sends erratic or no signal to the ECU, causing the engine to lose track of the crankshaft's position. Without that data, the ECU can't manage ignition or fuel timing properly, which leads to the engine shutting off unexpectedly. You might notice the engine stalling when idling at a stoplight or even while driving. Another sign of a bad crankshaft position sensor is unusual exhaust smells. A failing sensor can disrupt engine timing and lead to incomplete combustion. When the air fuel mixture doesn't burn properly, unburned fuel can make its way into the exhaust system. As a result, you might notice a strong, foul odor, something like sulfur or raw gasoline. If left unchecked, this issue can worsen over time and even damage your catalytic converter which can lead to much more expensive repairs down the line. But hold on. Before jumping to the conclusion that the crankshaft position sensor is bad, it's crucial to check other components that could be causing similar issues. First up, we have the camshaft position sensors. These sensors work closely with the crankshaft sensor to determine the precise position of the engine's internal components. If the camshaft sensor is faulty, it can throw off timing and mimic the same symptoms you'd see from a bad crankshaft sensor, like rough idling, poor fuel economy, or even stalling. So, before replacing the CKP sensor, always test the camshaft sensor to rule it out. Next, we have the variable valve timing solenoid. The VVT solenoid controls the oil flow to the camshaft phasers, adjusting valve timing based on engine load and speed. When the VVT solenoid is clogged, stuck, or malfunctioning, it can cause timing issues, just like a failing crankshaft position sensor would. Next, a faulty spark plug can also mimic the symptoms of a bad crankshaft position sensor. Worn out or damaged spark plugs can cause engine misfires, rough idle, power loss, and even hard starting, all of which are also symptoms of a failing CKP sensor. Since both components play a key role in combustion timing and performance, it's easy to confuse one for the other. Next, a bad timing belt or chain can also mimic the symptoms of a bad crankshaft position sensor. The crankshaft and camshaft rely on precise timing to keep the engine running smoothly. If the timing belt or chain is stretched, worn, or has slipped, it can throw off this synchronization. This can lead to poor engine performance rough idling, misfires, or even no start. Symptoms that closely resemble those of a failing CKP sensor. 